All right, today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to get the most out of your solar panel. I haven't used my van for a couple of days, so it has a full charge right now. 13.9 volts. The charge controller regulates the battery to not go over 14.5 because that's bad for the battery. So it's blinking right now. So from what I've seen, this is how most people use their solar. This is how I use it. You just have everything hooked up and use all your accessories. So let's go ahead and turn on the Xbox right here. Turn on the TV. So it's going to drop down to under 12 volts right now. It's going to go down. So Xbox is on. TV's on. It's finding the signal right now. There it is. Okay, so I dropped down to 11.9 volts right now. So let's go ahead and put it in wattage mode. Right now I'm drawing in 126 watts. So my solar panel is a 100 watt solar panel. So basically it's going to be able to keep up with my Xbox and my TV all day long because it's drawing in about 100 watts altogether, so solar could keep up with it, won't drop down too much. So, go back to wattage mode, 115. Okay, so I'm going to turn off the Xbox. It's going to drop down. So, the Xbox and TV. So, the TV's drawing in about 30 watts, the Xbox about 80 or 90 watts. So, let's go ahead and turn off the TV. That'll all go down to zero now. Okay. So next up, I'm going to plug in my AC here. So it runs on a cigarette lighter. So I'm going to go use the AC to DC converter. So go ahead and plug that in. So this thing right here draws about 15 watts. I'm going to turn on my AC right now. So all together, that's drawing in about 75 watts or so, right there. So, still at 12.4 volts, but if I turn on the Xbox and TV, now I'm dropping down to about 11.4 volts, now it's 11.3. So all of this going at once, solar and the battery can't keep up with this forever because now I'm running at about 154 watts right now. So, see 11.2. So eventually the battery is going to run down. Let's go ahead and turn everything off. That's the AC making that gurgling sound. Okay, um, turn off the Xbox right here. Watch the voltage all go back up. Okay, unplug this. Okay, so there you go. Everything's going back up. Now, this is the most important discovery for this uh, charge controller. PWM charge controller. I don't know how other charge controllers work. This is my only experience with solar charge controllers, but hopefully you guys could figure it out if you don't have a PWM. So these two wires is a solar panel going into the charge controller. These two wires is the battery going into the charge controller. And then these two wires are going into the cigarette lighter and USB connection. So what this does is this lets me run directly to solar. I'm not borrowing any power from the battery at all if I run through this. At first I didn't know how to use it, but now I figured it out. I'm going to put the person I found it, found this out from on YouTube, I'll put it in the comments. Well, you know, you got to give people credit. you got to give the smart people credit. I'm just passing along the info because I, I haven't seen anyone talk about this. So with this charge controller, you got all kinds of crap coming out of it. So six and a decimal point, all right? 
So, I'll go ahead and show you guys a quick demo, okay. So you got all kinds of crazy numbers, and honestly, I don't know what they all mean. So you got numbers without a decimal point, then you got decimal points, but the one you want is six and a decimal point. So we'll go to six and a decimal point right now. It's going to stop in about ten seconds. Come on, okay. So what this does, it's a switch. This is basically like an on-off switch. So, see the little light right there? So if I press it once, it turns off. So when it's off, this isn't drawing any power from the panel. But when I turn it on, see how the light's on? Now I have power going to it. Since I have a 100 watt solar panel, and this is only rated for 130 watts, the charge controller, you don't want to use over a hundred watt accessory on this. So now, okay, check this out. 13.8 volts right now. So I'm going to plug in my air conditioner right now to this thing. Okay, turn it on. Okay, I'm back. Just ran out of battery. All right. So right now, my AC is running right off the solar panel. See the voltage isn't dropping under 12. I could run this all day right off the sun, right off the solar panel. So there you go. Now, remember when I had everything on, the TV, the Xbox, and the AC, the voltage dropped to like 11.2. I'm gonna do that right now. Xbox on, TV on. It's going to drop down. Okay. So instead of 11.2, I'm at 11.4. And this is pretty much going to stay at 11.4. Yeah, there you go. Went to Now it's fluctuating from 11.4 to 11.5. But it's going to stay there because I'm only drawing 111 volts. Solar panel is 100 volts. So now everything's going to be able to keep up without really dropping the charge and let, as long as there's sunlight. So watch what happens when I put the AC with the battery. So Xbox, TV, that's taking power from the battery. But the AC is taking power from the panel. Now I'm going to go ahead and unplug this. And I'm going to plug it back to the AC-DC converter. Okay, so I'm going to plug it back in here. There you go. See, see how it's dropping down to 11.3? Because it's um, drawing 150 watts. If I unplug it, see it'll go back up to 11.7. Plug it into the panel here. See, now it's at 11.6. So there you go. That's how to get the most out of your solar panel. You actually want to run accessories directly off the solar panel. So don't ignore this. I ignored this for the longest time, but now I have this little plug here. That way I could run accessories right off the panel. And I'm getting most out of my uh, solar now. Instead of making the battery give me all the power let the sun help out a little too. So, yeah, that's that's not going to drop. As long as you're running 100 watts combined, or a little over is not that bad, but if you're not running too much over um, 100 watts, you're going to run all these accessories all day long. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's give it a lot of work to do. So, we got... Okay, let's do this. I'm going to run everything that I have. Okay, turn everything off. Unplug this. Okay. Plug in my little fan here. Let's do a little demo here before I take off. Before I put this video together. 
Okay, so let's first, we're at zero watts right now. I got this little fan here. It's, it's not much, it's just for extra circulation. Okay, that draws 22 watts. Little fan. Right here I have a air filtration system. That draws in about 40 watts. Xbox. That draws in another 90 watts. Now we're up to 135. TV. Draws in another 20 watts. There you go, 150 watts. See how my voltage is down to 11.2 now? Because I'm just running too many things at once. Solar's not going to be able to keep up forever. The battery's not going to be able to keep up forever. Solar's feeding it, but for how long? Since I'm doing 150 watts right now. And then turn on my AC. See? Turn on the AC, but notice the voltage stayed at 11.2. Hey, it actually went up a tiny bit there, 11.2. Because I'm not borrowing any power from the battery, not much anyway, probably like 0.1 volt when I use power off this part right here. So there you have it. Turn everything off, give this battery a little rest. It's working hard now. There you go. It's not working too hard, actually. I mean, the inverter isn't. The battery probably is, but the inverter is rated for 750 watts. But that's probably a lot of power for the battery. All right, there you have it. So if you have yourself a PWM charge controller, that's how to get the most out of it. I'm going to go ahead and turn it off right now. See? See how that little light turns on and turn it off. There you go. It's off now no light right here all right there you go that's how to get the most efficiency out of your solar panel now it's charging back up since i have nothing on right now all right everyone kick ass be safe and take it easy